Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to configure priority routing with Azure Traffic Manager. Azure Traffic Manager works by manipulating your DNS responses. There are six ways for you to configure your Azure Traffic Manager profile and priority routing is one of them. If I go here in the documentation, they have shown how priority routing works. So basically, priority routing is not a load balancing methodology. It is basically a failover pattern. Now, if you think about geographic routing, for example, it will route the traffic based on the location of the users. Let's say if the users are in Asia, you can direct those users to the instance that you hosted in Asia. And then you can direct the users, let's say in US, to the instance that you hosted in US. If you configure Azure Traffic Manager to work in geographic routing, it will work as a geographical load balancer. But if you implement priority routing, Azure Traffic Manager will help you to implement failover. Let's say, for example, you have primary instance, and if something goes wrong in that region that your primary instance is in, you want to failover to another instance. You can specify the priority of each of your instances. If the primary instance is degraded for some reason, Azure Traffic Manager will direct the traffic to your failover instance. And when the primary instance is back again, Azure Traffic Manager can again direct the users to your primary endpoint. And one key point here is that beginners misunderstand this sometimes. Azure Traffic Manager will not route your traffic through Azure Traffic Manager. It will basically send the DNS response to the user to contact the failover node and then user's browser will directly connect to that failover nodes. And also when you do this, you should be careful about DNS time to live as well because user's browser can cache the DNS response from Traffic Manager. Now let's implement this on Azure. For that, I have created a script here. As you can see, first I'm going to deploy a web application in Southeast Asia region and after that, I'm going to deploy another web application in Australia East region. Then I'm going into Azure portal to show you how to configure a traffic manager profile. Now let me copy this script here and then I'm going to paste it on my Azure CLI. As you can see, the resources are getting created. The resources are ready. Now let me go to Azure portal. As you can see, I'm in that resource group and we have two app services and two app service plans. And now let me change these app services so that we can see which app service it is because if you just access it they all have this generic page let me change that i'm going into app service editor and then let me change this hey app service developers to australia since this is the app service that i have hosted in australian region now i'm going back let me do that to the southeast asia app service as well all right now I'm going back to the resource group and then I'm going to create the traffic manager profile. Let me search for traffic manager. Here we have traffic manager profile going in. All right. Here, as you can see, we don't have many options. We can name it. We can give a global unique name and then we can provide the routing method. You can change this routing method later as well. Now let me call it something like this and then a routing method I'm going to go with priority and that is the topic for the day and then the resource group is okay now now if you look here the resource group location it is we can't change it because this is a global resource now let me create it all right the deployment is in progress and that's complete I'm going into that resource and now if I go back to the resource group and if I refresh it here let me regroup it yeah as you can see and also we can see the summary view as well. We have the load balancer, not the load balancer, the traffic manager. And then we have the app service we have deployed in Southeast Asia and Australia. Now let me go back to the resource group list view and then I'm going into my traffic manager profile. And here, if I go into configuration, we can change the routing method as well. Also, as I said earlier, the DNS time to live is important because it will take this number of seconds for the changes that you do to your traffic manager profile to propagate because of the DNS cache. Now let me change this 
to one second because it is easier for this demo. Now I'm going into endpoint section. I haven't saved it. Let me save it now. I'm going into endpoint section. Now we can add endpoint. So basically we can register our two app services here. I'm going to add a new endpoint. Since this is a Azure endpoint, we can select that. This is not an external or I'm not going to use nested traffic managers here. And then I'm going to call it, let's see, E1 endpoint one. And then the target resource type is going to be an app service. And here we have an option to select the app service. The primary endpoint for this demo is going to be Southeast Asia region. And then we have a very important setting here. And that is the priority. The lesser the value here, the more the priority. If I put one here, this is going to be the highest priority. Basically, if this endpoint works, all the traffic from all the users will be directed to this endpoint. And if this doesn't work, and only if this doesn't work, other endpoints will get activated. Now let me put one here because this is going to be the primary endpoint. And let me add this. All right. As you can see, the monitor status is checking endpoint. Now let me add my second endpoint as well. Let me call it E2. And this is going to be an app service and the one in Australia. As you can see, we have two here automatically selected because we have added priority one. Now if I change this to one, as you can see, we are getting the message. No two endpoints can share the same priority value. Since we have configured this to be priority based endpoint, we can't do it. But let's say if you have configured your traffic manager profile to be weighted one, you can add the same number here that will equally distribute your traffic. Now let me add two here because this is not the priority endpoint. This is the fellow endpoint. Now let me add this. Now let's wait for one or two minutes until this gets updated. All right, as you can see, the monitor statuses are online now. Now I'm going into the overview section of my traffic manager profile and then I'm going to copy the DNS name. Let me go to a new tab here and let's paste it here. As you can see, we're getting the response from Southeast Asia region. And remember, this is the primary region that we have configured here, as you can see. Now let me go back. And let's try to do the same again. Let's try to access it and copy this and let's access it with a incognito account. As you can see, we're getting the same response. Now, if I go back, I'm going into the resource group and then I'm going to stop the web application that we have in Southeast Asia to simulate a failover scenario. Let me do that now. As you can see, our app is stopped and we have added the DNS time to leave as one second. Now let me go to my incognito browser again. Let's try to access it. As you can see, we are getting the response from Australia region. Now let's go back and start the application again. And then I'm going back to the incognito browser. We are still getting the application from Australia region because it can take a few seconds for this setting to get updated, even though we have set the time to leave to one second. Now let's try again. As you can see, we are getting the response from our primary region. In this video, we have understood what traffic manager is and the type of routing methods that it has, such as geographic routing, and we saw how to configure priority based routing. And one thing to keep in mind is that this is not a load balancer type of a scenario that we have implemented. This is a failover scenario. And Azure Traffic Manager is a versatile tool that we can use to do many things. Now this is the end of the video. If you have any further questions or comments, let me know down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today and thanks for watching.